Welcome to Indiana News Desk. I'm Joe Wren. The state's plan to expedite construction of Interstate 69's final stretch won't be easy. The Indiana Department of Transportation wants to close State Road 37 in Martinsville for the 2021 construction season. Unlike the section of the project that runs through Bloomington, there is an alternate route people can take to get to Indianapolis if that happens. But as Barbara Brozier reports, Morgan County residents disagree on whether that's a good thing. It's lunchtime in downtown Martinsville, and just as many people stop at Come and Get It for the food as they do for the local gossip. Everybody knows everybody because it's such a small town. And this week, there's a lot to catch up on. Yeah, it's going to kill us. She's talking about the state's plan to close part of State Road 37 to through traffic as it builds Interstate 69. Florence Critchfield and her friends meet for lunch at a different restaurant in Martinsville every Tuesday and they're worried about how the closure could affect that tradition. How are we supposed to get to Indies or Taco Bell or Arby's or any of those over there if it's closed? The Indiana Department of Transportation unveiled the idea this week at Martinsville High School. It's the biggest of several possible changes to the project. Under the plan, the state would redirect traffic to state roads 39 and 67, while 37 through Martinsville is closed in 2021. All of the local east-west roads will stay open, and that option allows us to do the mainline construction as quickly as possible and do it as safely as possible. That's in line with the governor's plan to speed up the overall completion date of Section 6 by three years. But multiple delays with the stretch of I-69 from Bloomington to Martinsville has Section 5 nearly two years behind schedule. That makes some Martinsville residents question whether the 37 closure will really only last one construction season. I want to know that when, when they hire these contractors, is there something that's going to be put into place so that if they don't finish in a, in a manage, and manage in a record time or in the time that they are allotted, they should be getting penalties and losing money. And there are concerns about what it will mean for businesses along 37, which get lots of customers who are just passing through town. I'm just heart sick over the whole thing. But several business owners in the heart of downtown Martinsville are more optimistic. The planned detour would take drivers past a major local road that goes right downtown. It's one of several INDOT plans to improve in order to accommodate increased traffic. And Sam Neal thinks that could be good for a business like his. People come in here all the time and say, well, I didn't even know you was here. And no matter how much advertising you can do, there's nothing that compares to drive by and see a store. And I didn't know that was there. Gee, we need to stop there. If people do stop, downtown business owners think they'll be surprised by what they see. Millions of dollars are pouring into a revitalization project on the square, which includes rehabbing several buildings. We have a few more restaurants. Um, right now we have five downtown. Um, and they're going to start on looking at retail. Some see it as Martinsville's way of reinventing itself as it gets ready for the major changes that come with the new interstate. Although no one can seem to agree on whether the project will help or hurt the community. But business owners say much of that fate depends on the people who live here. And as long as Martinsville markets itself correctly, it should actually bring people off of the interstate. And that's what we're trying to do with the downtown project that we've got going now. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Barbara Brozier. The state is getting the money to accelerate construction on Section 6 from a 35% fee increase imposed on truckers who use Indiana's toll road. The Indiana Finance Authority approved the billion dollar deal this week. The state will get the billion dollars over three installments starting next month. The rate hike only applies to commercial trucks.